The tension on a real spring is typically adjusted in the factory, but over time, the spring may lose or gain tension. Too much tension can cause premature wear or even the failure of the hose reel and put everyone in the vicinity at risk. Conversely, the lack of tension can prevent the hose reel from performing one of its main functions, that is keeping the hose coiled when not in use. Here are the steps to add tension to the spring of a one-arm reel. Pull the hose until there's only 15 feet left in the hose reel. Make sure the locking mechanism is properly engaged. Manually wrap the hose around the reel. Perform a maximum of two wraps at a time and test the tension to avoid exceeding the capacity of the spring. Repeat this process until the desired tension is reached and then disengage the locking mechanism. Now here are the steps to reduce the tension of a one-arm reel. Pull the hose out four to five feet from the reel. Be sure to engage the locking mechanism. The hose is now released enough to manually remove the hose wrapped around the coil. Manually remove the hose to reach the desired tension. Bring the bumper close to the reel without activating the rewind mechanism and once complete, disengage the locking mechanism. To make the same adjustments but with a two-arm reel, all you must do is simply remove the stopper from the hose before adding or removing wraps and put it back in place after the adjustment is complete. Now you know how to adjust the tension of a hose reel with one and two arms. Improve the use and also extend the life of your hose reels. For more tips and tricks on maintaining your compressor equipment, visit the resources section on topring.com.